Hello survivors, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be focusing on Fuse Agony SMG. So we are reviewing this SMG, which is a new uh, event SMG from the Halloween. Now I'm gonna leave down in the description my socials and also my YouTube membership if you want to support me through the YouTube membership. But let's not keep it any longer, let's roll. Now, as always, we're going to first go through skills, items, and full stats, then fight uh, against the bosses, then pros, cons, and final verdict. I also want to mention, this is not a build video, have in mind. This is a weapon review. The items that I'm using are not min-maxed also. So these are the stats, uh, sorry, skills that I currently have. So you can have, you can pause if you want. So you can have a uh, time. Go. Now I'm going to go through the items. Feel free to pause, guys. The SMG and my stat stick. Now I'm going to show you the full stats as well. So those are our stats. Feel free to pause, guys. All right, now I'm going to show you the fight against the enemies and then I'm going to talk more about it. Let's go.
And as you've seen, guys, the performance is insane. It's melting everything in its pads. Nothing can stop it. So we're going to talk first about pros, cons, and final verdict and such things. As I said, uh, so this weapon has, we currently have around 2.3k DPS, a little higher than that. And we didn't mean max items, as I said, right? So when it comes to the items, what items you want to focus on for your head and hands, uh, you want to have stats such as headshot, mutated, attack speed, maximum accuracy, reload speed, if possible on six stat, body damage. Or if you do not want to focus on accuracy, you can go for headshot, mutated, attack speed, body damage, reload speed, and ammo capacity. You can go for something like that. So those are the stats. Now, we're going to talk about the attachments that we want to use as well. Uh, you want to go for the compact scope. I do not advise brand new compact scope because for 5%, you're going to pay three to four times the amount of compact scope. Like compact scope is around 1.5 million. Brand new is like, I think around five or six million for brand new compact scope, which is insane. Just just go for brand new or just go for compact scope. 5% difference in maximum min accuracy, really not worth it. Now, pros and cons. This SMG has the highest DPS in the game. Those are the pros, insane kill time, very easy to play with, very easy to build around. Cons, very expensive to maintain, needs a bit of maximum accuracy to hit more shots so we do not waste too many bullets. And now the final verdict is, this is an insane game weapon for SMG users. Go with it if you have a budget to sustain it. I do not advise this weapon to new players or people who do not have endgame gear or a lot of money. So there it is, I hope this was helpful and also uh currently the ammo is around 5k so that's very expensive watch out for that as i said and that'll be it for this video thank you so much for watching guys i'm gonna leave down in the description my socials and also my youtube membership if you want to support me to youtube membership thank you for all of the people who are liking sharing subbing uh, commenting as always and supporting me to youtube membership uh thank you survivors and i'll see you in another video of the frontier 2 till next time peace